Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Stellaris Console Edition. Alrighty, when we left off, we had uh, just got into a war with the Sutherian entity because it decided it wanted to try and conquer our buddies, the Eon Alliance, who we are in a federation with. Not going to end well because I have a pretty full up fleet with more on the way as I now have cruisers available I'm now sending them to that fleet on top of the fact that uh, the Eon Alliance has kicked their butt before and they will probably do it again and speaking of the Eon Alliance they've been kind of moving around a bit moving around in ways I did not anticipate nor want them to. So, now I have to move extra fast to get some of my uh, claims, as it were, secured. Because apparently the Eon Alliance has no concept of personal space. Which is funny considering we're in space. Anyway, uh, we're gonna move on and... Uh, We'll get that started. I already have a construction ship going in that direction. I already have the fleet moving to the next nearest starport. Actually, I have it going straight towards the capital. Actually, now that I think about it. And I have the science ship also exploring uh, Canopus. And I th think, actually, what I should do... Um, have them check out this one first at Zandaran, I think Zandaran, and then Zandaban. Okay, Zandaban. I was close. <laughs> I was close, all right. Anyway, and then have them move to Canopus after that. There we go. That should do it. And we go. Oops. Not at the right speed, but we go. And the fleet will take a couple of years to get there. But by then, the Yeon Alliance might already have it handled. So, could be all good. Could be. Key phrase. Oh, and that uh, extra envoy I had, I put them towards the... Uh, group that we're trying to get a little friendlier with, uh, the Spuxalak Star Nation. I have the Envoy trying to get their, uh, da -ba -da -ba -da, their relations with us up uh, a little higher than what it currently is. And I'm not entirely sure if I need to continue having a, uh, keep having a envoy on uh, United Nations of Earth or not. I'm not entirely sure. I might. I might get rid of them for now at some point, but not for the foreseeable future. Um, so, at this point, it's just waiting for something to happen. Whether it be our research into other things or science you know, division reports a new breakthrough. Well, speak of the devil, research done on railguns. Yes, finally, beautiful. The latest in electromagnetic accelerators. Railguns use twin parallel rails to fire projectiles at incredible speeds. Hell's yeah. Um, mineral purification. Or deep core mining. Those are the cheapest and the most useful <laughs> at this point. Mm. Although construction templates would be a little nice. Mm. That would be pretty nice. And it's only 67 months. I don't see why not. What the what? At least one of our fleets is in transit. Oh, yeah. Strike Force Cerberus, which is one of the cruisers heading to join the First Imperial Strike Force. 
System reconnaissance completed. That's basically what that means. And that's done. Cool. What we got going over here. Interesting. Following a long period of growing support for the Free Elections Network, the Polysimus Syndicate has finally embraced the faction, adopting their core values and policies. As a result of bringing this faction into their government, they become more outwardly egalitarian. Really? Hmm. Polysimus Syndicate becomes egalitarian, huh? Does that mean they start hating me? Apparently, yes, a little bit. They uh, have now considered myself an authoritarian tyrant, which is interesting considering. Wait, since when are they pacifist? I don't remember that. Construction complete. All right, cool. Special project complete. It is done. It is done. Somehow we've solved it. You helped. The organic nature of things eluded us. The answer lied behind us all this time. Of course. Thank you, little ones. The universe is vast, yet so small. But now we see it all in its simple glory. It's lovely. Now that we have calculated infinity, there is but one thing we can do now. We can show you the truth. Farewell, young ones. Glad we could help. Hmm. The infinity machine disappears into Gargantua, the thing it studied for so long. As it passes the event horizon, the black hole begins to fluctuate. It takes in less light, and the swirls of matter being sucked into it slow down. In an instant, it lets out more light than any sun and starts radiating back matter back into the universe. The black hole shrinks, unfitting of its name as we now dub it Pentagruel, causing time dilation to become even stronger around it. Within Pentagruel, one can gaze into a mirror universe, the other end of the black hole, one just beginning. The Infinity Machine has shown us the truth. The black holes are wombs, and universes their offspring. Studying this mirror universe is bound to teach us much about the one we live in, learning from other beginnings. Amazing. That sounds fucking cool as shit, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, brain fucking exploding, dude. <laughs> Infinite creation. Birth a new universe. I don't know if I can take the direct credit for that, but sure, why not? <laughs> Alright, we'll do these. And get to that. Cool. That's taken care of. That's gonna get taken care of. And yeah. All right. Yeah, it has been renamed Pantagruel. That's weird. Okay. Um Let's move you over here. Get this going. Just Boy, do I need to get completed. over there ASAP. They are slowly but surely encroaching on this area. I don't want them having any more of it than they do now. Alrighty. And... Oh, yeah. You would be done there, wouldn't you? Hmm. Okay, where, where do I put you? Mercadetta, I guess. Yeah, I'll do that. You will assist research there. 
Of course you have to take the dumb path, because that's not at all a good idea at all. God damn it. And then do it this way, because apparently, otherwise, they always want to run towards the nearest danger and just kill themselves on it, because that's what they've done a million times before. <sighs> At least I caught it before it became a problem. Kind of happy I did, actually. <laughs> I just was like, wait a minute. I've seen this play out a dozen times before. Alrighty. So far, so System good. System reconnaissance completed. The Numistic Order, huh? Come, felons, drink from the Numistic Well of Wealth and Thirst No More. Okay, show us your shit. Behold, Fortune's Favor, our most trusted guardship. She was chosen by the goddess herself to escort a blessed cargo across the galaxy and has thwarted many a blasphemer in her day. Pirates, infidels, Monsters of the Void, all who interfere with Numa's divine path. Yet she is almost as good as new. Yes, she has served fortune well, and now, for a modest donation, she may also serve you. As always, if you need time to reconsider, we can notify you before we depart your territory, giving you one more chance to accept the goddess's generous offer. Wow, I do that way too well. Um, yeah, get back to us later on that. Get back to us later. As you wish, felons, we will contact you again before we leave. But bear in mind, Numa is a fickle mistress. If her mind sways, the deal may change. I just wanted to see how much uh, credits I had, and holy crap, I don't have a lot. Um, hmm. Holding on to credits is a little difficult at the moment. Actually, speaking of, how is my... I'm on mixed economy. Why? And I have consumer benefits. Why am I not getting enough uh, consumer goods? Oh, jeez. And then among other things. Okay, um, automatic trades. Can I up this price? Not much more, but yes, I can. Okay. And how many do I have? I have five. Well, I mean... I can up that to a little more. Can't I? Uh, maybe there? Yeah, that's fine. That'd be okay, I guess. Maybe. Help me a little bit. Perhaps. In the monthly taken. Intake, rather. Huh. Okay. Let's get going again. Actually, look in on the fleet. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Oh, do they? Well, let's see what it is. The Applied Quantum Physics. Oh, I see. Yes, that will do nicely. That will do very, very nicely. Now. I say it's time for plasma throwers. That's what I say. Uh, weapons that eject destructive balls of high-energy plasma at targets. These plasma projectiles are extremely effective at eating through ship armor. Hell yeah. It also eats through the hull, which is also nice. What you would expect... Ha! Huh. Ah, felons, do you hear Numa calling? Soon we must depart your lands, but first, have you considered our offer? Weigh your options well, for one may set you on a path to great fortune, another to ruin. Which will it be? Um, let's buy it. Sure, I don't see why not. Blessings upon you, Phelans, for your business brings us closer to the goddess. Right, okay. Construction complete. Fortune's favor. Let's actually look at the ship. 
uh, details. Wow, it has a lot of plasma thrown weapons. Wow. Hey, I'll take it. And it is for the line, which is good because this does not have that much range. Any of this, actually. That's fine. Um, this would be a cruiser. Okay. I don't think I can fit any more... No, I can't. And I'm just going to remove that. And we'll call that good. And then I'll add the cruiser on anyway. And merge. There we go. Also, this is done here. Which means you should be making that. And then we'll move you on to there after that. And, of course, they've already taken Zen Dipon. God damn it. Okay. Well, at least I'm getting Tatanga. Tatanga. Sounds so similar to Topanga. And I just remember that whole bullshit involved with that thing. Anyway. Old memes. That's what my brain was focused on, folks. Don't worry. Construction what it complete. Does. Oh, uh oh. And then there's that done. Scientist Ariana Desav. What the what? <laughs> Can't read that name. Ariana de Savoya has died at the age of 106. That is unfortunate. And it was right after completing Galactic Administration. <sighs> unfortunate. Alright, so. At least she completed her last great work before she passed. <sighs> it's been an honor. Alrighty. Completed that. Going to finish those. And then I guess we'll move you over to here. Make you do that. There we go. Unspent civic points that could be used to improve our government. Well, let's see. Um... Reform government. We'll continue the same way we have been, but we will add functional architecture. It would cost 250 to do that, though. And that kind of ruins the plans I had for those two star bases. Crap. Eh, well. We can wait. We can wait a little while longer. All right. They are moving quite a bit slower than I anticipated. <laughs> Up. The rest of my stuff is slowly but surely trying to catch up with the fleet. Construction complete. Well, my additional people. Oh boy. Oh no. Empress. Oh no. That was actually the. Oh boy. That was actually the Empress. Empress Antonia has died at the age of 108. Wow. What a lifetime. All right, and now the heir apparent, Empress Catalina I, with her Corvette focus and expansionist ideology. Well, the expansionist will help. Uh, the Corvette focus will not all that much. System reconnaissance completed. That is fine. 
Crown Princess Anastasia. Okay, and what's she got? Frontier Spirit and lo Logistic Understanding. Fair enough. Eager to reign over distant stars. Well, won't be long until she can. Alrighty. Okay. So far, so good. Hmm. Lisak is done there. Rather, when <laughs> this construction ship is done with Lisak, construction I should complete. Say, uh, then we build all of that, and then we System move on System reconnaissance to completed. This one. We'll move to that one after. Science division reports a new breakthrough. All right. Ocean ecology management. Done. Good. Um, the living state. Faction influence gain. That would be nice. That would be very nice. The empire lives. The empire breathes. We may make up its body, but it is not for the left hand to know what the right hand is doing. And that will give us a faction influence gain, which would very much be nice. I would love to have a little more of that. A large part of this starbase has been set aside as a black site that does not officially exist. The entire system is closely monitored from here, while intelligence operatives carefully manipulate local media and social events to the best of their ability. Yeesh. Well, I mean, it's good in the long term, but I mean... Yeesh. Okay. <laughs> the description is scary. Okay. And they are on the outpost right now. Good. Oh, they are just blowing their way through. Engaging enemy I station. did not expect my fleet to be blowing them <laughs> up that quickly. Fleet action underway. Whoa, whoa, what, what, what? Who, who died? Oh, scientist Dean Glass. Oh, no. And what were you doing? Okay, you were researching on Felon Day. That's what you were doing. Well, that's... That's taken care of. Dean Glass, it's been an honor. Okay. And... My guys are completed. beating the hell out of the Sutherian Entities' fleets. Just outright destroying them. It's great. Admiral has leveled up. Fantastic. We only lost one destroyer. Oh, they're, they're just constantly losing at this rate. And now we're destroying this Starhold rather taking it over. All right. And let's reinforce it. So that way she's up to full. And we got traditions available. All right. So what do we do here? Um Bulwark of Harmony? That'd be nice. Yeah. While in a defensive war with another empire, ship build speed is increased by 33%. In addition, the ship fire rate is increased by 15% for ships within your borders. All organisms, no matter how perfect, must rely on an immune system to ward off the threat of outside disease. Our society is no different. Okay. Cool. We'll do that. Cool. And then we'll do the utopian dream as the last final one, obviously. Okay. So.
And yeah, I think I think we're good here. I'll have my fleet stand here and Oh hey. Senate has voted and passed the resolution, the readied shield. Nice. We got our thing done. Ooh yeah. Uh hmm. Our thing has been finished, and I don't know what I want to do here. Oh, that's already been proposed. Huh. For sanctions on defense and war, empires that have been denounced or are in breach of galactic law have penalties of naval capacity and diplomatic weight from fleet power decreased. That is intermediate support. Before any sanctions can be declared, a resolution must be passed that can cause an empire to be denounced or to be in breach of galactic law. That makes sense, considering. Uh, it's not letting me do that. It's not letting me add it. Huh. Weird. I wonder why. We are in breach of this resolution? Oh. That is... What the? I'm trying, to, I'm trying to understand this. Galactic community members that are not vassals of another empire that are using less than half of their naval capacity are in breach of galactic law. That's... That's a very weird one, and I guess, yeah, we would be in breach of that, so that makes sense. Okay, I, I was just reading through them. I was just curious. Okay. Um. Oh, I have the Sukasa Station now available to me because I have conquered Science that. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. That's cool. I'll, I'll go with that. That's cool. Plasma Throwers, weapons that eject destructive balls of high-energy plasma targets. Yeah, that's cool. All right. Um, I could use this right now <laughs> really badly. The quantum energy states. Oh, boy, I could use that. Basic entanglement principles applied to energy generation provide a substantial increase in energy output. Oh, boy, do I need that right System now. System reconnaissance completed. Spaceport reports enemy contact. Oh, yes? Uh-oh. So they're going to try and go around and take what I already took, huh? Huh. Well, in that case, I'll just do this. Construction complete. I don't see why not. Alright. So far so good. Engaging enemy station. Okay, uh, I'm actually gonna go back to this and uh, repair the fleet a little bit. Alright, energy stuff is er, energy. Engineering. Fucking brain is breaking as I play. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Um, ooh. Long range mineral scanners would be nice to use. I say let's do it. Um, not too bad. Not too bad at all. We have won the war. Yon Alliance has taken four territories. All right. Fuck yeah. Cool for us. We have won the war. Gotta love it. Okay, um, let's get you building that there. And then we'll move you there. And you'll finish up that. Actually. You do... You do the mining there. Then we'll move you over to here. Because I will take any... <laughs> Any of that I can get. 
Look at your credits, Sid. <laughs> I was about to say the wrong word. Look at your credit silos, Phelan. Full to bursting. Please let us lighten them. Let us assist. What can you offer us? <laughs> Look, these exotic gases. Effervescent. Compressed to maximum density. For logistical convenience. Highly volatile. Highly volatile. Careful. You desire them, do you not? For your shields, your plasma cannons, they can be yours. I don't necessarily want to do that deal. Sorry. That's that's not something I want to be a part of. It's, no. I already have plenty of exotic gases coming in. I don't need to trade what I don't have on rare crystals to be getting that. So no, we're, we're good. Alright, and these ships are done. Okay, well... Where will you go? I don't know. <laughs> oh boy. That's the difficult question that I don't have an answer to. Move here, I guess? Do you go through anything stupid? No! Okay, good. That'll be good, I guess. And then you go back. There we go. Yeah, that's good. I think I like that. Yeah, we're good. Construction complete. Oh yeah? Is it though? Oh I guess it is. Alright. Hmm. Uh is this Huh. This is its own separate thing. Your was thinking it was part of that. Okay, cool. I can do it to cut off even earlier than I thought. Alright. Yeah, you know, it's great. I'll focus on getting ship all the stuff refitted. on this backswing later. Okay, ship refitted. Good. Now I should probably bring them back to home base because the war is over. <laughs> probably a good idea. Um, actually, you know what? Hmm. I should have them scan the debris over here before I have them do that. I think that's a good idea, actually. Because that debris would be nice. Polysimus Syndicate has entered into a migration treaty with Sacrosanct Thymoid Conclave. Okay. Fair enough. Who can blame them for that? Construction complete. If it's what they wanted. Okay. You're done there. Good. Then I want you doing that there. There we go. Senate floor is now in session. And we're voting on regulatory facilitation. We should leave regulatory decisions to the experts. The blah, blah. blah. Uh, I don't want to support it, but I guess opposing it will look bad, so just go to abstain. <sighs> Call it good for now. My diplomatic weight is at 1,200. That is nice to see. All right. Science division reports hey! a new breakthrough. Beautiful. Long range mineral scanners is completed. Increased scanner range will allow us to more quickly identify mineral concentrations and focus focus our mining efforts there. Really, I can talk. Really, I can. <laughs> usually, key phrase usually. Um. Hmm. Mineral cutting beams is also still cheap and also. Very good. 
These powerful short-range lasers can easily slice through rock, making the extraction of minerals a more efficient affair. And who could say no to that? Call that good. You're done there? Good. Then finish up there, and that's all I need you for. Construction complete. All right. What are you doing? Ah, you're doing that. That's what you're doing. And then you go back to the starport. And it's all done. And quantum energy states is now completed. Nice. And what should I do? Which one should I do? Improved reactor boosters? Maybe. It's not necessary to really help, but I mean, it's something I can do. Uh, subspace sensors, which is kind of nice. X-ray lasers, which is very, very nice. Uh, let's, let's go with x-ray lasers. Call that good. Finish that up. Alright. We are kind of sprawled all over the place, but eventually, eventually, it'll be a more solidified, proper empire Construction than what complete. we currently got going on here. Polysimus Syndicate has declared Sutherian Entity their rival. Interesting. Very interesting. A. Through hard work and experience that the war form hasn't actually been put through, uh, Admiral War Form has developed new skills. Okay. Now it's a trickster trade. But it hasn't been doing anything. It's just been standing complete. there. That's weird. Alright. Okay, now let's get the mining stations built up so I don't have to worry about it. Hell yeah. And then I guess we'll make you do a uh, star base here. Just a little bit. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. The Hifnar Free Warriors. I'm sorry, looking at those adorable faces, I can't take it seriously. <laughs> okay. Felin! I assume they mispronounce our name. Felin weaklings! Our warriors are on their way to plunder your systems. Face them in battle if you can muster the courage, or cower in fear until they have had their fill of your riches. You can, of course, offer tribute now to spare yourselves from the coming onslaught. If it is sufficient, our warriors may be compelled to turn back. How about... We'll just give you the minerals just so you can shut up and leave me alone. A pity! I suppose our warriors will have to look elsewhere for entertainment then. Your people are safe. For the moment, at least. Alrighty. Well, we'll get them soon enough. Battle debris secured. All right, and we get that done. Oh, yeah, battle debris secured. Disruptors, afterburners, antimatter power, physics research, and engineering research. Hell yeah, that's great. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And the society research after we learned the living state, which is nice. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. what should we do? Effective bureaucracy would be nice. It's not necessary, but it would be nice. Vitality boosters, even better for my leaders. Um, off-world trade companies would be nice, but at the same time, I'm not focused on trade quite right now. Hmm. Hmm. Trade value would kind of save me a little bit, though. Especially for all my trade hubs I already have. Eh, I'll get it out of the way now, but I won't end up using it for a little bit. So, we'll just, just sit on that tech for a little while. All right. So far, so good. 
Anything on the planets I should be aware of? Apparently, yes. I uh, don't know why I zoomed to Camelot. I didn't intend to. <laughs> Looking at other things in other places. Um, what's the population? Uh, eventually, eventually we'll get to a good spot with that. Uh, we'll take care of this since I can. And have them yeah put in an energy grid that's a good idea I think that's a great idea actually um then make them build another city district just so I know that there's enough houses for everyone that's a good that's a good plan and then Felon Day. What do they got going on? Uh, hmm. Nothing in particular that I see is really necessary. It's not yet. Um, hmm. Huh. I'm kind of... <laughs> kind of wanting to lead towards uh, commercial zones. Yeah, let's do that. That's a good idea, I think. Okay. Inbound message traffic. Oh. And we got that done. Cool. Polysimus Syndicate of forming a research agreement. We have much to learn from one another, Phelan. We propose the creation of a research agreement between our empires. Okay. That came out of nowhere. I didn't expect them to want to do that. I'll take it, but doesn't mean I expected them to want it. Huh. And going pretty Battle good debris secured. Nice. Good. That's what I like to see. And if it's done. Huh. There we go. Oh, it had more debris over there. Okay. The uh, Racket Industrial Enterprise again. What? Oh, for this deal again. No, no, no. Not interested. Battle debris <sighs> secured. Okay. And that's done. And we're good. Beautiful. Science division reports a new breakthrough. Yay! What do we got? Yes, the mineral cutting beams is finished. And what do we got? Oh, whoa. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Droids, huh? Upgraded robotic workers. These units have an expanded movement range equal to that of most organics. Their neural processors have also been greatly improved. Droids are a more complex variant of robot, often coming with pre-programmed personalities to better serve their masters, as well as limited self-awareness. Huh. And they're allowed to do most population jobs, but are unable to perform ruler and more complex specialist jobs. Fair enough. And it is also really the cheapest that's actually worthwhile to go into. Hmm. Yeah, sure. Sure, why not? Let's do that. Shouldn't be too bad, right? Yeah, should be fine. 
Foreign powers are engaging in active hostilities. Polysimus Syndicate has declared war on Sutherian Entity. Alrighty, so Sutherian Entity is not going to last for much longer at this rate. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. They are in trouble. <laughs> They're getting attacked on all sides. Not to say they don't deserve it, but... Alright, that's... Since we have them... Working on all that. Yeah, no, it's fine. I'll Science Division for now. reports a new breakthrough. Well, hey! A warm welcome. Interesting. As the Racket Industrial Fleet entered the orbit of Camelot for what should have been a brief courtesy visit today, a spontaneous outbreak of goodwill turned into a combination of open air market and party. Many bonds between felons and rackets were forged, and much trading took place. We got a decent amount of money out of that. That's cool. Although I am running out of credits at a breakneck pace. Holy crap. Let's sell a lot of the minerals that I've built up. And let's also sell a bit of the food that I've built up since I don't need it that badly. There we go. Now I feel better about how many credits I have in the bank. Which I should have been worried about prior. But no, no, I'm too dumb. Society research completed with off-world trade companies. Nice. Let's see what else we can do. Um, selective defoliant. Defoliants. I guess I pronounced that right, didn't I? Eh, a little. But at the same time, fleet command limit. That would be very nice to have since I'm already at the upper limits of what I can do. Mm -hmm. I kind of want to just flip a coin for it. <laughs> I'm not sure which. I want to do more. Uh, let's just do that. The other one will come back later. Okay. All right. Anyway. And, yeah, should be good. Just need to wait for that to start there so I know if the resources for building the star base are already taken out or not. Nope, they were not, so it's a good thing that I waited. That way I could know for sure. All right, um... We'll get them started on this one here. Okay, cool. Fantastic. All right, and we're over time as it is. I'm just doing finishing touches of what I want going before the next episode. And yeah, I think we're doing pretty well. We won our first war, even though technically we were just a hitch along on that war. And uh, doing pretty well for ourselves, I think. Yeah, I'd say we are. Now the question is, will that continue? We'll have to see. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so I can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat. Playing games and trying to keep our empire running as smoothly as possible. And, uh... Keep the galactic community in line, specifically the Sutherian entity, which does not seem to want to let up being a jackass anytime soon. But between the Polisima Syndicate and the Yeon Alliance and us, I think we'll keep them in line, or they'll perish. Either or, it, it, it'll be fun for you.